So inside, first I'll, let me give you a kind of overview, right? So DevOps has to be implemented in organization. So what are the things we need, right? So DevOps is all about, DevOps is all about people, process, tools, right? So first, people perception has to be changed. We have to be ready for the automation. It's not like I'm a developer, I only do coding. I'll not bother about deployment or delivery, or I'm just an administrator, I don't bother about the uh, coding or maintaining my code. DevOps is all about uh, you know changing the perception. So first people have to change. In the sense, operations guy maintains the code. So this is nothing but infrastructure as code. What is infrastructure as code? DevOps engineer also writes the code. He also stores the code in GitHub. So when you go for interview, you have to specifically uh, tell some words. One of them is infrastructure as a code. And second thing is end-to-end -end automation. And third is continuous integration and continuous delivery, right? So this, some of the terminology you need to use so that are uh, high availability, right? So at least they know that uh, uh, so, so you have some genuine exposure to DevOps, right? So people process. So what is process? Process also we need to define, right? So let us say, so DevOps is responsible for the entire infrastructure, right? So they are the ones who define how to, how people should maintain the code. There are, let's say, 10 development teams, right? And one DevOps team, and let us say, uh, there are 10 test teams for each this thing and so DevOps is the team which manages all the resources infrastructure it manages so this can be on-premise in the sense you have your own lab or it can be a cloud right so based on your project you can tell what, what you have managed I manage cloud or I manage infrastructure right and then uh, we have 10 development teams means 10 applications are there and we need to build these 10 applications right so how do you build source code is available in GitHub. So we need to define a process. As a DevOps engineer, I define a process. What is that? I have created three branches. Uh, sorry. Uh, in GitHub, we create a repositories. Repositories for 10 teams. So 10 applications uh, are using 10 repositories. Each repository is for a single team. And in the repository, uh, we can have different branches created master branch develop branch and feature branch see this this flow exactly you have to tell in the interview in the starting so how did you implement devops best practices so we have people process and tools so we have defined the process we have defined we have created the repositories for the 10 development teams and each development team each repository will have three branches master branch develop and feature branch Master branch is something like which is a production ready, right? So any, at any time, this can be deployed to production. So we don't really touch master branch regularly. So what we touch is feature branch, right? So when a developer checks in something, he creates his own feature branch. So there can be num n number of feature branches. So he creates his own feature branch, let us say feature XYZ, and he adds the code to it, right? So before adding the code, he has to do something like a unit testing. If that is passed, then he has to add the code to feature branch. So we also have created continuous integration server Jenkins. And in that, we have written multi-branch pipeline that will immediately detect if any branch is created or if any uh, change is made to any of these branches, right? If you see, there is a develop branch. So there is a master branch. And there is these are all of the different feature branches. Feature sprint line release, feature sprint eight release. What is this? This is for that particular sprint. In Agile, we follow sprints, right? If you see on the left, the left hand side, there are all the different slaves available. Okay, so we define branches. We define how they should behave, right? So Jenkins will detect if there is any change. So the best practice is people should not directly check in the code to develop branch or master branch they should use feature branches so every team will have architect and architect is responsible for the code reviews right so let us say i am a developer one and i have an architect so i add the code 
and I open a pull request. What is pull request? This is for review, right? So I open a pull request to my developer, uh, my architect, and ask him to review. And he reviews that and he gives some comments. And I again, I update the code with the comments. Let us say if the code is looking good, then I update it to uh, develop branch. So this feature branch is merged to develop branch. So like this, there will be multiple developers working on it. And this develop branch is something like a integration of all the branches, right? So uh, in Jenkins, we define, we have defined like, if it is a master branch, do this. If it is a release branch, do this. If it is a develop branch, do this. So in feature branch, what do we do is, we just execute JUnit test. So the command is MVN test. And we notify, we send out a mail to everybody. So this is just to check whether there is any compilation issue or not. In case of develop branch, we do MVN test. We do build it, right? And then we deploy to Nexus. And from there, we deploy to test machine. Or we can say upload to Nexus. And then uh, upload uh, or deploy to test machines. Once test machines are perform some testing, functionality testing and all. So DevOps team will not do testing, but there will be a test team and they have automated their test. They will give that scripts to us and that test we have to integrate in Jenkins so that there will be a pipeline created, right? So this is the develop branch. So with this environment is ready and end machines are ready. And these end machines uh, are used for something like checking the logs and all. This is the develop branch, something like integration branch. Now, there is something called master branch. So this master branch, after development is completed, and uh, let us say once in a six months, there is a release. So this develop branch will merge it to master branch. So this is the main branch, which uh, uses something like MVN release command. So that will tag the uh, GitHub. Tag in the sense, it will create a release, and this release can be shipped to a customer. So this is the general flow, what happens uh, in a DevOps uh, uh, process. And those here, uh, like DevOps guy, they're not developing the codes. They're not writing the codes, right? So where we fit here in this, any of those uh, roles? We actually, mm -hmm. DevOps, we are writing the code, right? We are also maintaining the code. We are maintaining the versions. Developers will write actual code. What is that application code? DevOps guys write infrastructure code. What is infrastructure code? Jenkins file, we have seen, right? Jenkins file. We have written yes. in Groovy. So this is nothing but code which we are writing, right? So I'll show you what this, how does the code looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, this, this, I think this this clear a lot of a lot of confusion. Because I always keep saying that I'm not a developer, so I'm not going to write the code. Uh, I mean, not exactly code, but we have to write. Uh, uh, so, so this is uh, a code. So this is basically the Jenkins code. So instead of defining Jenkins freestyle job, nowadays people are going for code because it is easy to maintain the code. We are maintaining the infrastructure as the Code. Yes. Now, yes. code will be available in the GitHub. And when Jenkins detects that there is a change in the repository, it will automatically start executing this code. So what is this code? So as I said, there are three branches, develop branch, master branch, anything other than that is a feature branch. So we have stages. So we have code. We, what is this code? If branch name is develop, call this function. If branch name is master, call this function. If branch name is other than this, call feature branch. So here, oh, okay, okay, okay. So in develop branch, I have again code download code from stash, MV and clean, perform some unit test, publish the results. So feature uh, develop and then call some other jobs, downstream jobs. You can call downstream job from upstream job. This will upload it to Artifactory and it will also deploy. So again, how do you yeah. deploy? So that depends. Are you using cloud or are you using on-premise. If you are using on-premise, you can tell like we use Ansible 
to deploy the code to test machines or if we use cloud cloud also we can use ansible or we can use tools like uh, uh, cloud formation that is in uh, uh, one of the services of aws so that will also get the infrastructure so basically the, the devops guy basically writing the infrastructure code which is yeah. basically integrating application code with the infrastructure resources to deployment right 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 so this all code we write so this can okay. be so it's around 250 so we are also writing code we are also maintaining the code need not be this only this is for jenkins maybe for let us say ansible you are writing the code so what yeah. do we write playbooks so that playbooks also we maintain in github with different versions right so this playbook may also have some hundreds of lines of code so who is maintaining that again devops guy right? so we write this kind of code we will not write application code but we write infrastructure code infrastructure code okay okay yeah i think that that was a big confusion just cleared yeah and if any problem is there let us say every day there uh, someone checks in and there will be a build a build is failed so the first point of contact who will contact is devops team so as a devops engineer we check like where is the build failed is it some configuration issue or is it some application issue so if there is application issue then we tell developer to take a look so we we also have to do some kind of debugging we need to log into the machine and go through the logs and see why is it failing go through the jenkins logs so first thing we need to go through is the jenkins log okay for example if we if we if we are writing a code like for ansible we can still do feature develop develop and master branches right same same we going to follow the same process so, uh, that feature master is in the jenkins uh, in ansible what do we write is simply copy the application zip file yeah. from nexus or from artifactory or from the workspace uh, jenkins workspace to test nodes so copy this stop the application start the application or if any application specific commands are there which we need to execute it, that we write in ansible okay so from from okay yeah okay i got you yeah for ansible basically we have like maybe two different environments to work on right so no this one, is complete entire one and one flow you need to work, uh, decide on which you i mean if you want to go for interview you need to uh, decide on one flow there is github where we store code there is jenkins which pulls github for any changes and there are different branches and there is maven which is integrated with jenkins and which will build it and there is nexus where we store the code and then we have ansible to deploy it to test nodes so this way you need to tell so here in jenkins we write the jenkins file which has uh, the code like uh, what to do if it is a master branch what to do if it is a feature branch what to do if it is a develop branch what to do maven will build it so with jenkins we integrate the entire thing and this in the end it will also send mail to everyone saying that uh, these many tests passed failed and all okay so in this case we can say the application developers they write the developer code and and put that code on the github right and from that onward we going to start deploying and testing Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, but we gonna we we gonna pull anything from the GitHub that is already in the already in the production branch, right? Like, uh, uh, if it, production branch, uh, if it is already there, means for the first time, let us say, development branch is merged to production. So that production has to be deployed. So there can be a job that will deploy, or. Uh, uh, if, if it is already there, so when we update, then only we try to deploy. Jenkins will pull only when there is a change. Okay, okay. For example, if there is feature branch on the GitHub, that feature branch was developed by application developer, and the code is there, right? So we have feature branch. Are you going to use that feature branch also to deploy to test it? Uh, no. Generally, what happens is there will be multiple features getting developed at the same time, right? So there yeah. are 10 developers working on 10 features, right? So they create 10 feature branches. Yeah. So this feature branch is like everyday checking. We don't want to build it every time. We don't want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, burden the artifactory or burden the Jenkins with uh, 
uh, every building error, everything. We just want to do, we just want to check whether there are any compilation error in the code, in the code which they have built. So here we, we don't have any involvement for DevOps. Yeah, we have just we do a, a J unit test, something like a unit test. So Maven has that plugin like MV unit test. So this will just check. So for this again, developers have to write their own uh, test cases, unit test cases, right? Okay. After that, we will not build it. We'll just test it and send a mail just to check whether uh, the code has any compilation issues or syntax issues. Once okay, so our done, involvement is there, but only for the testing purpose, not uh, okay. Yeah. And and if uh, ten feature branches are integrated to develop branch, this is where we need to check whether build is getting successful, package is getting successful, or uh, uh, we are able to deploy it to Artifactory. Then from there, we are copying it to test machine and the application is coming up or not. That we check in the develop branch. But okay. for uh, feature branches, we don't have to do this stuff. OK, OK, I got you. Yeah. So again, okay. it depends on the organization. So how do you want to uh, yeah. you know, yeah. define? So you, you decide on your own this thing, and you be ready for something in the interview or something. If they tell, we have to tell, like, this is the behavior which we have implemented, we designed, and that way you can tell. Yeah, I think this is very informative. So I think this is very, a lot of information. So even if uh, once you crack the interview and join the job also, you should know, like, uh, for the first time when you open a laptop, you have to get a git bash installed. Then you have to ask for the repository. Then you should know how to open a pull request, how to clone the repository, how to work on your stuff, right? So it's like just to make sure that you have exposure to DevOps uh, and telling all these things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Okay. So I'll, I'll send out all the documents, the interview questions, that is the sample resume, so you can start working on it. And at uh, the time, if you face issue, don't forget to you know search for this site. Any issue, definitely there will be 90% solution available over the internet. And before going to anybody, any teammate, okay. check Stack Overflow site. This has very good information, Stack Overflow. And there is also another, uh, this thing, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a website? Yeah, this is a website. Stack Overflow is a really good website any solution most of the devops solutions most of the developers follow this so there will be solutions for you can ask a question and there will be people answering it yeah so so uh, prepare for the interview uh, prepare your resume and upload uh, and then uh, if you need any help I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer okay okay anyway uh, thank you Please thank you for the effort thanks thank you thanks a lot. bye bye all the best